AM 990. Here's Business Spotlight from your local voice, FM 107.9 and AM 990. And here's your host, George Bryant. Good morning, good morning. It is Tuesday morning, and uh, this is one of my favorite days of the week because we get to turn our spotlight on one of our great business partners from right here in the Mid-South, Tracy Strickland, and uh, what's the name of your bank? Triumph Bank, George. <laughs> Let's talk with the, Triumph. See the yes. nice sign on the wall? Good morning. Uh, very good morning to you. And, uh, you know, for our listeners, uh, we are um, also uh, broadcasting live on uh, Facebook. So mm-hmm. if, if you want to have some fun, tune in. The interesting thing today when uh, when you do tune in, I think I'm out of the camera. So, you know, I, <laughs> I feel sort of like I'm off... Uh, you have the secret voice. Yeah, over I'm the, the guy behind the curtain. Okay, wizard. <laughs> but uh, this is a moment that we get to every week, get to, uh, you know, kind of look inside of local business and, you know, and, and find out more about them and what makes them so unique. I mean, what a great bank. You just celebrated your uh, tw- 12th, anniversary. 12th anniversary. Last Tuesday. Yeah. I mean, since uh, uh, 2006, you guys started. It's a fabulous bank, and and, and they they do some just really state-of-the-art stuff. Last week, we talked about some of the Mm -hmm. online uh, phone opportunities. You know, we're talking about, you know, if you're a business, uh, great loans are available. That's right. Um, If you need to, you know, buy a home, I mean, there's you, you guys are very competitive on the mortgages. But a lot of great things that are going on, but the thing that I'm always admire is how you guys give back to the community, you get mm-hmm. involved, and that's what our spotlight is on today. We have a special guest, Shelly Alley. Shelly, welcome back. Thank you. I think this is my third, fourth, third or fourth, fourth, year. fourth visit, yeah. um, so thank you for inviting me back. Well, I love having Shelly on, and I always, I mean, it seemed like it was just yesterday when we yes. were on here, and we are like, oh, I guess it has been has been a year, but Shelly is... Um, just finishing three years at Bing Hampton Christian Academy. So she's about to move into her fourth school year. Um, so I've been with Shelly ever since she started the school <laughs> um, after having personally volunteered at the school for a number of years. And um, for those of you who are not familiar um, with the school, the school is real close to the um, the corner of Walnut Grove and Tillman, mm-hmm. Bing Hampton Christian Academy. It's a pre-K through 8th grade school um and it is a very special place i would say if you have not had a chance to visit um experience meeting the students and the teachers um it is one of my favorite places to bring our team um we started serving there as a team i guess in 2014 Mm -hmm. um and in the past couple of years and we'll talk about this later on in our segment about how we've been able to sponsor and really work with one particular class and we will as they um, grow through the school but um, Shelly as your role as director of development can you tell us initially like how did you even hear about the school and what brought you to the school so unlike a lot of people um, I had not heard of Binghampton Christian mm-hmm. Academy um, before I went to visit right. um, I am not from Memphis originally so um, there's still a lot of great organizations that maybe mm-hmm. I haven't been aware of, but um, I was working um, as the development director um, with Mid South Food Bank, mm-hmm. which is an organization, organization that is oh, still yes. very near and dear to my heart. Um, and I had been with them for a few years. Um, prior to that, I actually was in the corporate world mm-hmm. for nine years. I worked <laughs> at Cummins Mid South, and I did marketing. A job very similar to Tracy's, <laughs> yeah. actually. Yeah. I think that's we where a lot of our, our yes. um, kinship kind yes. of develops, but. Um, so I, you know, always had a heart for mm-hmm. philanthropy and really loved getting, um, my coworkers involved and in doing different types of things. And so we had always worked with the food bank mm-hmm. and, um, I was ready to try something new. And yeah. so there was a place for me there and I absolutely loved my time there and learned so much. And while I was there, um, I had a friend of a friend say, you have to come visit the school <laughs> and, you know, I, I knew that it was a job opportunity, but I, I wasn't interested yeah. in, <laughs> in moving. And so, I, you know, after some convincing, I said, I'll, I'll take a tour. I'll come by. <laughs> and um, just being there, honestly, just I fell in love with the kids. I, yeah. I got to come during summer school, uh, which is going on right now. Mm-hmm. Um, but what struck me the most that I think stood out is as soon as I walked in, um, there was – a young student opened the door. Mm. It were just so polite, and yeah. it was just something uh-huh. I noticed 
as I, I got to go into some of the classrooms and I saw the interactions with the teachers and I love that, you know, it was 10 to 12 kids. It, it wasn't mm -hmm. a big classroom and, and you could just feel this family atmosphere. I mm -hmm. felt it immediately and I was very drawn to that. Um, my mom and most of my family members were in education and so right. that was always kind of my background but I think that was kind of hesitant to follow right. in that you know yeah. um I, I knew I never had the gift to be a teacher and I respect teachers so much mm. but I knew that wasn't my gift but um just being there I, I really I felt at home mm. and um so I made the hard decision to move but it's it's been great um and that initial feeling that I had at BCA was spot on yeah. Um, it was something that, you know, just noticing a difference in our students and, and not even knowing fully the backgrounds mm -hmm. that a lot of them come from uh, and, and learning that later really impressed me more of um, you just wouldn't expect it in a lot of ways. Exactly. And um, I just love that there was a peacefulness, there was a joyfulness there, and, um, you know, so... It's the greatest over, adjectives. Over, it's yeah, such a, yes, a, a yes. I mean, it really, it is, you yeah. know, it really is, and that's not always um, true, unfortunately, in a lot of schools. And um, so I knew there was something special, and I wanted mm -hmm. to be a part of it. So that's really how I ended up here. And um, the three school years have gone by really fast. Yeah. We were talking about that. Yeah. Um, well, you've so, been a gift to that school. I well, know. it is. It has been such a gift to me, and you know, just. I love the relationships that I've built with students and getting to know some of their families. And, of course, our staff is, mm -hmm. you know, um, they are in it for the right reasons. And I just, I love being in that type of environment where, you know, people are just happy to come to work every day. Mm -hmm. And, <laughs> you know, those are those are yeah. big deals. That's a so, lovely, lovely. Um, it is. It's, um, it's a great place, and I'm, you know, I'm glad that I get to represent the school and, um mm -hmm. So that, yeah. that's kind of the story in a nutshell. I know. Well, I know um, I mentioned it was pre-K four through eighth grade. Yes. Um, tell us how many students there are, okay. and mainly like the, the backgrounds of the. the kids. So we have a hundred and thirty students. Okay. Um, I think I mentioned before the small class sizes that we have, and mm -hmm. so the max class is fifteen students, mm -hmm. which is is so great yeah. because. Um, a lot of we don't have admittance tests coming in. There are a lot of private schools. Um, you know, you have to meet some sort of minimum standard. Um, we don't have that process because we really want to meet the child where they're at. And um, because we're small, we can do a lot of individualized learning, um, and it's very helpful and it has encouraged a, a greater growth than mm -hmm. you would maybe see if they were. Um, thrown into a, a larger environment where um, the teacher just is not able to spend as much ch time with mm -hmm. each individual child. And so that's especially great for our students because we do have such a high number of um, children of refugees. Right. And so um, about 65% of our um, kids do come from um, African refugee homes. A right. lot of uh, their parents are from South Sudan exactly. and other countries as well, but that mm -hmm. is the dominant one. And so English was not necessarily the first language, right. you know, in the home and um, may still barely be spoken in the home. So you come to school and you're already, you know, behind in, yeah. in, in those ways. And so having a small class size and, you know, teachers that can really um, understand your story right. and just try to help progress you and, and help you make as much progress you can year to year. Exactly. Well, even if these kiddos have been born in America, I mean, obviously they've been around right. English, but then they right. get the English at the cl at the classrooms. Yes. But like you said, when they go home, English is probably not the first right. the first language. So um, right. we've got students from Egypt and you know all over that right. you know are in that class, and so it's it is amazing. And I think a lot of that extra support. I mean, only the teachers can only do so much. Right. But I, I know that um, you um, are so supported by a large volunteer base. And I know when yes. we come yes. back, we'll talk about all the volunteer opportunities and how many extra programs um, are offered after school mm -hmm. um, to help support the normal curriculum. But um, again, it's Binghamton Christian Academy. And the exact address is like 175? 175 North Tillman. North Tillman, mm -hmm. right at Walnut Grove. Um, and if you um, ever have a chance to come and visit Shelly, um, how would they 
if they were interested in getting a tour and getting more information, can you share your So the best way is to just reach out to us. We give tours. Um, you know, even when the school year's not going on, I do recommend you come during the school year. So, I, you yes. know, get, get the full heartbeat oh, of the school. <laughs> um, we still have one week of summer school this week, so I, yeah. we could get you in. But <laughs> um, just reach out to us. Um, you know, email us is a great way. Hello at bcamemphis.org. And perfect. just let us know um, your interest, and yeah. we will make it happen. Um, our dorm program, which we can talk a little bit yeah, um, later, that. that's something that we definitely would include in the, the tour, and I, it's it's unique to Memphis, mm -hmm. and so I really encourage people to come out and see um, our program because it's you're really not going to find another thing like it here in the city. It's awesome. It's a mm -hmm. special place. We're talking with uh, Shelly Alley. She is the director for Binghampton Christian Academy. During Let's Talk Growth with Triumph Bank, uh, Tracy Strickland, and we're we get a chance to really see another reason why your local community bank, Triumph Bank, is such a great partner in this community. Uh, this is one of the organizations that they're supporting. They've wrapped their arms around. And we're going to find out a little bit more about their story right after this break. You're listening to The Voice, FM 107.9 and AM 990. Now, here's Mid-South Weather from News Channel 3 Severe Weather Center. Brought to you by The Crescent Club. Hosting the people and ideas that move Memphis forward for nearly 30 years. Poplar and I-240. Call for a free tour at 901-684-1010. Hot and humid across the Mid-South again today, looking at chances of showers and thunderstorms into this afternoon, some of which could be on the strong to severe side. Keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for the latest. Highs in the lower 90s, winds out of the southwest at 5 to 10. More chances of showers and thunderstorms tonight, mostly cloudy and warm, lows in the mid-70s. Elite Total Health offers the number one hair restoration solution for men and women using your own platelet-rich plasma. Go to Elite Total Health on South Main Street or call 901-505-2017 for a full head of hair. With a look at your latest WREG-TV News Channel 3 Severe Weather Center forecast, I'm meteorologist Austin Onick on The Voice, FM 107.9 and AM 990. And now back to Business Spotlight on The Voice, FM 107.9 and AM 990. Welcome back to our studios. Let's talk growth with Triumph Bank. This is what we do every Tuesday at 730 with our host, Tracy Strickland. And normally we're talking about some of the really awesome things that Triumph Bank offers to the customers, whether you're a business or just an individual, you want really cool online banking or, or yeah. whatever. They've got uh, great locations throughout the Mid-South, four locations, Poplar and I-240, also Germantown, Carryville, and Arlington. Mm -hmm. And, um, gosh, what a great website, triumphbank.com. Mm -hmm. Need to check that out. But uh, And you served ice cream last week, right? We did. I was about to say we're continuing <laughs> the anniversary ice cream day. So we partnered with Ben and Jerry's this year. And mm -mm. so if you're in the Arlington area, we welcome you. We're on um, 5810 Airline Road out in Arlington from 2 to 3 this coming Friday. Um, come by and see Stephanie and Melinda and the rest of the team. They're amazing, and um, they're going to be serving just full ice cream sundae bars. So, and, mm. and ask them about our CD rates. We have some oh, incredibly yeah, competitive rates. CD rates going on right now. So if you have some um, short-term kind of cash-saving needs, um, definitely keep us in mind because I know we're very competitive throughout the city on our rates. But um, today, of course, we're kind of putting the spotlight on one of our community partners. I um, have an incredibly soft place in my heart for this school. Um, I volunteered there for several years, and um, it's about to celebrate its 25th anniversary, its silver anniversary <laughs> in, the, in the city of Memphis. Um, but I wanted Shelly to share just briefly about how the school got started. Um, it is considered a private school, but I'll let mm -hmm. you elaborate on you know, the fact that the, the families just barely put a little bit of an investment right. um, in there, and then we'll talk about some of those extracurricular activities. But yeah. how did it, you know, 25 years ago, who founded it? Yes, so 25 years um, in August. Wow. We'll, we will have that anniversary, August 30th. Um, we were um, founded by um, Joe Walt and her husband, John Walt, who are native Memphians. Um, and they um, 
were missionaries who had actually started schools in other countries. And as see, well. when we were talking yesterday, I had no yes, idea. Yes. I thought this was literally, I knew they were Memphians. Mm -hmm. I knew that they had a heart for service and they wanted to serve and put yes. this school in yes. King Hampton. But from according to you, they've literally, they've planted they, schools. They have. Um, it, they've done several. I know one is um, in Iran and oh. one a couple throughout um, Africa. Okay. And so that that's really been their heart and their calling, oh, and and so I th I think that that was really, you know, it was always the thought and hope to um, do the same in the community that they were from, right. and in in Memphis. And being Hampton was established um, a, as the neighborhood, mm -hmm. um, just because, especially twenty five years ago, it it really was one of the. Um, the hardest um, hit communities as yeah. far as poverty and crime and just a lot of different problems. And so uh, Miss Walt, you know, really felt led for our school to be a light hmm. um, in, in an area that, you know, a lot of people were overlooking. And so the when we started, it was we're going to be a private Christian school. Mm -hmm. And so we wanted to make sure that uh, just just because you were lower income didn't mean families didn't have an option to send their child to for, to right. school to for, get a Christian to education if that's what education if, that, if that's that. what they yeah. desired. And so um, with that, initially families only paid a hundred dollars per year, no matter mm -hmm. the children. Mm -hmm. um, that is slightly increased now. Um, now it is two hundred per family, um, and that's basically just to give um, a little skin in the game. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we think there's dignity in that. Um, but, you know, it's always part of, you know, our our plan to, you know, remain virtually tuition-free for families. Even though it does cost around 7000 per student, um, we really look to the community uh, for support. And, you know, 70% of um, our fundraising is from individuals. The remaining is from, you know, churches, um, you know, groups like Triumph Bank, yeah. who supported us for several years, um, and just a lot of local foundation grants that we reach out to. And so that is super important mm -hmm. to us that we continue to make that available for families and that they have that option. And, um, you know, just thinking about the volunteer aspect, too. We right. talked about that a little right. bit. Um, you know, we have great strong teachers who really see this as, as a career, but also a ministry. Okay. Or else, you know, um, they probably would be somewhere else. But um, they they love our kids and they pour into them and they stay longer hours than yeah. than than needed. Unreal. But we really could not continue if we didn't have the amount of volunteer support that we have. Mm -hmm. um, we keep our budget pretty lean, right? Yeah, as, as all <laughs> nonprofits do. Yeah. And to allow our children to have art classes, music classes. Um, uh, taekwondo, you know, things Spanish, that, you know, Spanish classes, yeah. um, you know, all sorts of programs with our after school. We really look to volunteers mm -hmm. to help pour into us and and allow us to give those experience to our kids. And so um, it's, I, you know, we estimate there's over 200 volunteers that work with us throughout the year. Um, some of that is with our residential program, which is um, 30 of our highest needs students live on campus during the school year, during the week. And um, we have volunteers that come in and provide dinner. So our dorm parents can focus on the kids. Um, we have people that come in and just provide those meals every single night, mm -hmm. um, which is amazing. It um, really is like my – it blows my mind when you yeah. think about there's 130 students. Yeah. And, you know, almost a quarter of them live on campus. Right. You know, during the week. It's just like this private boarding school of sorts. And, you know, I loved, I know one of the graduates um, a couple of years ago, after getting to know him, mm -hmm. you know, understanding that he was from the Sudan, um, his mom still lived there. So he came over with his dad. Mm -hmm. um, his dad, I believe, was a truck driver. Yeah. So, you know, um, he was absolutely having wonderful employment. But, of course, those truck driver hours were um, not normal you know for right. to be able to right. take your child to school so he was able to live live on campus mm -hmm. um and the the people that um volunteer their whole lives to be dorm parents for these mm -hmm. kids yeah. it's the most amazing thing i've ever seen we, you know there's amazing women that come in and live with the girls there's um a couple um travis and delois crutchfield that live with the boys mm -hmm. and 
they are absolutely almost their adopted parents for yeah. for the week. Um, and to know that they both teach at the school. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're a hundred percent all in at that school, and mm-hmm. um, uh, they're just amazing folks. And when you are around these kids, like Shelly was saying, they are not only polite, but they just swarm you with love. Mm-hmm. Um, and I have to talk a little bit about what we do. You know, a triumph with, with the school two years ago, we made um, a very specific decision that we wanted to um, take. I know Shelly says they always assign prayer partners and mm-hmm. kind of room parents for every mm-hmm. class. And yeah. so there was an um, there was an opening with that upcoming um, pre-K-4 class. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, tell me more. <laughs> so, um, you know, she said, you know, for um, an investment, we could come in and not only be able to sponsor that class, provide their books and supplies and mm-hmm. any other needs that mm-hmm. that teacher would need, but we'd be able to be quasi-room parents and throw all the class parties and build mm-hmm. relationships not only with the kids mm-hmm. but with their parents. So this was our second year. We started with them at pre-K-4, and we're, we've just decided to move up with them um, as they um, grow up, and so we just had their kindergarten graduation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If y'all want to see literally the cutest pictures <laughs> you've ever seen in your life, go to Triumph Bank's Facebook page. Right. Um, we also have them on our website, um, but um, we were able to be there for their graduation. We held a great field day at the mm-hmm. Dixon mm-hmm. Um, for the class, um, and always, um, you know, being able to to pour in our love. But I mean, the love that we receive. I mean, there's a couple of us, Lauren, Gerald, and I go probably the most. We have tons of our team. Once they go, they want to come back. Mm -hmm. But when we were at the Dixon, you know, the kiddos were coming off the bus. They saw us and made a beeline for both of us. And just we had swarms of babies, you know, giving (laughs) us hugs and love. And I mean, if you could have, you know, a tired day at work Mm -hmm. and then be able to go, I mean, it's right, it's the right. most amazing gift. So We're it's a been, hugging group. For it's, sure. I, I'm a, and I'm a hugger too. Yeah. So it's been a blessing, you know, for us as well. But I know when um, um, the listeners made like this sounds like a really awesome place. I'd love to volunteer. I know that you're you know talking about um, having putting together a school supply drive. Mm-hmm. Um, I know we'll talk more about this, but I'd like to be able, we're going to um, at Triumph get the list of all the needs mm-hmm. that you guys are going to need over the summer um, and be able to have collection spots um, around in our, in our branches and our offices wonderful. so that we would be able to collect school supplies. Um, see, I mean, I know right now all of us parents are like, whoo, we just got the kids out of school. I don't want to talk <laughs> about school supplies right now. But let me tell you, in a couple of months it's going to be right, here like that. Right. So as you're shopping for your kiddos for notebook paper and pencils and stuff, um, we'll have a list posted you know, on our web, um, mm-hmm. Facebook page and website in, in coming weeks and where you can bring that by. But um, there's obviously lots of opportunities um, for volunteering um, at the school. So like um, Shelly said, if you want to email hello. Hello at bcamemphis.org. bcamemphis.org. Um, check out their website. It's bcamemphis.org mm-hmm. as well. Um, but Shelly, thank you. Um, for what you do at the Thank school, you. you're just a ray of light to me, and I just um, every time that I go, it just gets better and better. Um, but we're proud to be a partner. Um, well, we're so grateful, yeah. and um, you know, every year you're like, what What more can we do? And we're yeah. we're just so thankful for that, and thank you that you just love our kids and you want to mm. continue with them. That's and, the easiest thing I've ever um, done. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're we're really um, grateful for that yeah. relationship, and that the bank is just so committed to us and our children so thank you thanks for being on this morning shelly alley thank you so much for coming in binghampton christian academy you guys uh always are doing some fabulous thing for our future uh um you know uh, citizens and you know and people that you're putting back into our community in a great way and and uh triumph bank thank you guys uh you guys are great community partners and uh what a great story Let's talk growth every Tuesday right here at 7.30 on this great radio station, (laughs) The Voice, (laughs) FM 107.9 and AM 990. Thank you, Shelly. Thanks. Bye, Tracy. Bye, George. (laughs) Thanks.